Hey, uh, it's Danielle Harris. I played Jamie Lloyd. And Ellie Cornell, I played Rachel Carruthers. We're watching Halloween together. <laughs> Um, Danielle, you did Halloween 6, didn't you? Or no? Did, no. Was, fifth, was the fifth one your last fifth one? Fifth was the last. They had some other chick playing in 6. But you got to work with Donald Pleasance in, in, yes. fi in 6? Yes. In, fi in, in five, 5. Sorry, yeah. in 5, yeah. And, in then, five. and then he passed away, or did he make 6? I can't remember. Um, I don't know. I think, I think he passed away before 6. I could totally be wrong. God, these opening scenes. This was really cool, actually. Yeah, it was a great opening. I was so surprised. I think everybody was Pleasantly anticipating. Pleasant. It had been so many years since the other one came out, I guess. Sasha. Mm-hmm. Have you seen Sasha Jensen? I saw him at the 25th anniversary of the Halloween series. Right. And he was signing autographs, as was Kathleen Kinmont. Yes. Kathleen's a good friend of mine. She is? Yeah. That's so cool. We're in acting class together. She just had a little girl. Who are you studying with? Uh, Sandy Marshall. Oh, great. Got to pop in and come see her. Oh, that's great. God, this music still scares There's the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> There's that theme. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this has all the makings of a great scary movie, all mm -hmm. the classical elements. Mm -hmm. That guy driving, wasn't he the medic? Yes, the set medic. Remember yeah. when I cut my stomach? Yes, on the, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Somewhere it's in the press that I was really sliced open, and I wasn't. It was just a surface wound. It wasn't mm -hmm. a big deal, but he was very panicky, that medic. I remember that. It's because they put you in that lovely crop sweater. <laughs> <laughs> that I wore for 36 <laughs> days or whatever of shooting. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw Paul at Mustafa's memorial. He oh, looked fantastic. Really? Mm -hmm. I want to see. He I looks younger. Time. It's amazing. He just mm -hmm. hasn't aged a bit. Hmm. All metal objects into the tray. Purpose of visit? Where was that? Where was that building? I don't remember. I've, was that in Utah? I think so. I have no idea. Now, how many days of that shoot did we work? It was a pile. Gosh, a lot. <laughs> I was trying to do school in between. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Oh, time for school at four in the morning. Your mom was such a trooper. <laughs> I don't think she knew any better. Now she would know. My first movie, you know, I don't think we, I know. we really had any idea what to expect. I know. It was such a great education, wasn't it? It was. I'm still trying to, to have as much fun on a movie. I don't think I've had one to date. I know. What do you attribute that to? I have my <sighs> philosophy. What's I, yours? I don't know. What's yours? <laughs> I think it was, uh, in part, uh, Mustafa's, like the climate he, you know, kind of put forth and took care of us so well, and mm -hmm. also Dwight. I think Dwight yeah. took great care of us. Yeah. Made sure we were always, um, you know, kind of calm and not freaked out. And He's so mellow. He's he so mellow. He just had a really good energy. I mean, yeah. I, it was his first movie, too, so I think that it was it was nice, nice to have that excitement. And, and it was really well done, too. And the fact that we were all out of town and kind of away from our personal elements, mm -hmm. you know, kind of plunked down in in Salt Lake for all those weeks. Park City Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> this is so random, but I remember one of, on one of my days off, one of my, or maybe it was on five, I can't remember, but I walked to the, I, wa I went to the zoo and... I saw a mountain lion being born. I'll just never forget that. Oh. It was very cool. I didn't even know there was a zoo. <laughs> I was sleeping <laughs> during the day. So I wonder why he's, his face is all covered up. Because it had been so long since the past Halloween, since Halloween 3. Yeah. I think... Um, is he still healing his wounds? I don't know. I think he's... Is he is he burned? I is think so. Is he severely burned? Shouldn't we know that? <laughs> <laughs> you know who I saw recently, and he looks exactly the same, except he cut all his hair as Greg. Greg, Greg yep. Nicotero. <laughs> yep, he yeah. He is so talented. He is. I just saw... Oh, gosh. I just saw... Um, the Hills Have Eyes. Is it he great? Did. I loved it. Oh, good. Call me crazy, but I was 
I sat, I literally in the opening sequence, I jumped so high that the popcorn fell I up love in the, the air. I love the key art's great. Fantastic. So good. But doesn't he look exactly the same? He does. He does. I kind of miss his long hair, though. I know. I told him, or I told someone they had to put it at the Smithsonian. <laughs> I mean, he was so famous for that ponytail. Yep. Oh, here oh, we go. <laughs> there it is. That's when the fun begins. Oh. And you're just going, don't even take him outside. Right. You know, it's just a given. He's going to bust out of there. Do they not handcuff psycho <laughs> killers? <laughs> uh. Let's see him go. Locked and loaded. Now let's roll. I thought in this one, even the the smaller roles had interesting faces. Yeah. You know, and Bo Star. I don't Yeah. Just, it was a well rounded cast, mm-hmm. I thought. I actually have the chills right now. Isn't that weird? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I, I, I have chills, can't. but I'm having a hard time taking a deep <laughs> breath. I'm like holding my breath, waiting to see what happens. <laughs> I still can't watch these movies by myself at the house. Yeah, this one is scary, I think. Mm-hmm. But scary in a different way than films are now. You know, there wasn't any CGI. There wasn't, you know, any mm-hmm. anything particularly out of the ordinary. It was just good, basic, mm-hmm. scary fun. I wonder what these actors are up to now. Wouldn't you love to know? Mm. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> 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 Will you ever forget seeing it for the first time? Okay, forget what I said about CGI. There you go. There, there's plenty of it in here. I forgot. <laughs> okay, like in the... Oh. <laughs> Let's just have a moment here. My hair was oh. so long. What I do a, look exactly the what same. What a little it's ridiculous. sweetie. Oh. Wasn't that dog's name Marshmallow or something? I think... Uh, in the morning. Um, I can still smell the way that house smells. I completely. Um, weird. Was it marshmallow? It was some sort of confection. Mm-hmm. Seven-year-old insomniacs Hall of Fame. Do you love me, Rachel? I think this was my audition scene. That's so cool that you remember that. It was between me and Melissa Joan Hart for this role. No. Yeah. That's so cool. The screen of the teenage witch could have gotten it. You know who read for this role? Mm-hmm. This will creep you out. Um, at least she was in the lobby reading for it. Was Rebecca Schaefer? Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I know you miss your parents. It hasn't been that long. It's been eleven months. <laughs> this is before my bad perm in Halloween Five. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? I know. <laughs> It was the day, you know, at the time it seemed like a good idea. How old were you when you did this? Uh, 24. Wow. 23, maybe? 24? Yeah. Wait, what did I just call the doggy? Sunday. Sunday. That's what I was thinking (laughs) of. That's what I was thinking. God, this scene is so scary. We took over that house. I wonder where Mm -hmm. that family went while we were there. Right. (gasps) some bad carpet. (laughs) It's really weird. My friend, my best girlfriend, Kimberly McCullough, is an actress, and uh, she, her and I have been been friends for for quite a few years, and she recently told me that, she came with me to one of these autograph shows, Yeah. and she said, I didn't even realize that she did ADR for me when I was in the closet. No! Yes, because she was also a kid actor, so the crying when I'm waking up, she goes, that was me, I did that. We had no what a idea. Small world. Mm-hmm. That is just crazy. Jamie Lee Curtis. I wish I could have would have met her. Yeah, I know. Could have would have. I wish I would have been her daughter in H two O instead of her <laughs> having a son. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I could have met her at a family reunion or something. Mm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I remember Dwight. I don't know for what scene, but I remember him. Well, oh, here we go. I remember him oh. um, kind of like putting me in the closet, like so I could get emotional. I mean, I was always very safe, but sort of putting me in there. And, yeah. And I don't know for what scene it was, but it freaked me out. I know he was good, though, at taking us aside and kind of saying, this is what the scene needs. Mm-hmm. You know, this is what you need to bring rather than kind of letting us you know, tread water for a while or get it wrong the first time. You know, I I thought he was really good at preparing Mm -hmm. us for what needed to be reached in a particular scene. Yeah, absolutely. I remember before my kissing scene with Sasha, (laughs) 
who played Brady, he said, okay, you too. <laughs> go, go practice. <laughs> Gosh, why couldn't like, have been with me? I had such a little girl crush on him. I thought that was the silliest thing I'd ever heard. Oh. And after this, we did an after-school special straight after this together. Oh, really? It was so weird that we ended up in the oh. same project again. Oh. God, I remember Dwight just treating me like I was an adult. I loved it. I think well, everyone were, treated me like I was an adult. You were very grown up. You were extremely grown up. Mm-hmm. I don't remember you whining or... I was having a blast. Yeah. I think everyone was really focused. That's why I think it went very smoothly. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't you compare it with other projects where there's, you know, the first AD is screaming or, you know, mm-hmm. that it's just, there was never that, oh, my word. God, every little girl's worst it, you nightmare. You bet. You bet. I still get freaked out under my bed. Who doesn't? It's just, <laughs> it's universal. Help me, please. Somebody help me. Help me. I wonder how many times I said, help me, please, somebody help me in this movie. <laughs> Okay. Whatever happened to her? Here comes crazy mom. Aww. You had a lot of emotional stuff yeah. between the two, you know, I don't think five. I've worked to date and had to cry as much. Yeah. I think this is where he put me in the closet for a minute. Yeah. What did you think of, like an animal dying or something? I don't even know. Okay, let's remember uh, Bobby Brady sprinkling the leaves. <gasps> yes. Do you remember that? Yes. Bobby Lickenland? Yeah. Is that his name? Um, yeah. Something I, like that? Mike yeah. Lickenland. Oh, Mike, uh, Mike, Mike, of course, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, he was the guy that threw the leaves in front of the fan. Yeah. Bobby Brady. The greens, the greens keeper. Yeah. The greens man. Yeah. Wow. Um, were these guys local? I don't remember. Or were they brought know. in from Los Angeles? I, I don't remember they, them at the hotel or anything. Yeah, I think they might have been local. How sick of that uh, room service did you get? <laughs> you know, I didn't because I was 10, so I just oh ordered French God. fries every night. <laughs> that is so funny. I remember coming in, like, caked with crusty blood on, you know, yeah. and just like, At 8.30 in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good morning. Yep. I remember, I don't know if it was four or five where Greg and I, because I became, I think I became closer to, I think Greg worked on five. Yeah. And uh, I, I became, he was like my dad on set. Yeah. And we were in the elevator and I came home one, one morning at 8.30 or 9 and pretended that he had just beaten me up. And he was my <laughs> father in front of these hotel guests. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Horrible, evil, evil people. Oh, this is Rachel's tirade. One night of babysitting has ruined her whole right. life. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still living at home? You know, who knows? This is the end of the world, for goodness sake. Sure it is. I think tonight Brady was ready to make a commitment. Rachel, don't do it. She's right behind you, sweetheart. Shh. Look. My marriage, my children, and your grandchildren have all been wiped out because I have to babysit. <laughs> oh, sure. I'm sorry I ruined everything. I wasn't here. You can go out. Nice curling ironed bangs. <laughs> <laughs> no. What we can give her right now. All you can do is think about yourself. It's a small cast, yeah. if you think about it. Yeah. It was really just, like, the family and the immediate friends. Mm-hmm. And, Jamie? God. of course, Donald Pleasance. Mm-hmm. What a good dog. I know. He's kind of hyperventilating, <laughs> but what a good dog. I can go out with Brady tomorrow night. It's no big deal. She wants to go out tonight. It's my fault you can't. God, my voice. It's amazing. Better. We're going to go trick-or-treating. I don't want to. It's Halloween. I mean, don't you want to get dressed up in a really scary costume and get some candy? It's so hokey, you know? It's hokey, but I don't know. It still makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't think it insults the intelligence of the audience, you know, the way some do. It's Yeah, true. I don't think anything about it is is too over the top. Mm -hmm. I don't think it could be too over the top. Okay, look at the length of that hallway. I was just thinking the same thing. (laughs) Wow. Oh, he's great. Michael Pataki. I forgot he was in this. Mm. He's always good. Mm -hmm. I think we all just took our jobs very seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, Donald Pleasance stayed at at a different hotel. 
Do you mm. remember that? I don't remember. I always I always noted that like, hmm, diva. <laughs> 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 Although I can't blame him. Right. Oh, it was University Park Hotel. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what today is? Do you know the date? They took good care of us, so I was always comfortable. Yeah. I remember Mustafa's kids used to come to mm-hmm. the set and raid the Lana and Alia. raid the, the craft services. Mm-hmm. I became really good friends with Lana. Aww. I actually, because I was still living in New York when we shot this, and, and he would allow me to come and live with him in the summer and just play. Oh, that's and so cool. swim, and it was great. Just be a kid, because I was still auditioning and stuff, so. Was this the first thing you had ever done, or your yeah. first lead? My first first movie I'd ever done. I think I'd done, like, Spencer for Hire, and, like, One Life to Live or something. Either. I can't remember. Well, I th- maybe, because it just said introducing me, and it didn't say introducing you, so. But I think... I can't remember. Hmm. Oh, I thought this was so cool. Mm. I think I, I was like, what a set. great effect, you know? Yeah. I think I went and I saw this. Like, I couldn't believe they went to all that trouble, right, right. to crush this thing. You know, none of it really looks like Illinois, but somehow you just buy it. Right. You know? <laughs> I still remember the way Donald's gloves smelt and felt yeah. when he would grab me, you know? Yeah. Believe that. Why should I? How many people in the bus? I liked that when he grabbed, he grabbed. It wasn't like he, you know, I mean, he yeah. really... How many bodies? 35. He wasn't acting. Right. He was in the moment, I guess. Yeah. Wow. I wonder how he, how Michael killed them in there. I saw the thumb go in, but there's blood all over the outside. <laughs> Isn't that something? No, water, too. Wow. Chopped him up and threw him in. And Donald just got right up in the water. I bet he didn't even say a word about it. I know. It. That trench coat needs to be in a museum. <laughs> yeah. He wore that so much. Mm-hmm. It's that's really a, pretty. That's a very cool shot. Mm-hmm. Ugh, that, I can, ugh, that smoke yeah, machine. Yeah, that stinky smoke. Ugh. Where did that smoke come from? It wasn't there a second ago, was it? <laughs> <laughs> on the long shot of the bridge, it was starting to fog up. I just thought, uh, fog on a sunny day. Isn't right. that something? <laughs> Only in Haddonfield. <laughs> yeah. We're on the way to Haddonfield. Is there a Haddonfield? Is there a real one? Yeah. Good question. You know, I, th- I want to say there is, but I don't know. We should ask some of the fans. Okay, those policemen know. look like Canadian, um, <laughs> the Canadian guards with their... Smokey the mm. Bear hats. <laughs> right. Now where are you going? Haddonfield. It's a four hour And his jacket's drive. suddenly dry. Mm. Reach me through the local police. If you don't find him in four hours, I'm sure I will. You always do, <laughs> Dr. Loomis. <laughs> He's so droll. <laughs> oh, this poor soul. Mm. Wrong place, the wrong time. Mm. Oh, yeah, he had to get his jumpsuit. Right. Okay, you know the pickup scene where we're bumbling along? We're driving along and he's on top? Yes, yes. I feel like I've seen that in movies since then, mm-hmm. where things are similar, where they knock him down and they're hovering, waiting oh, to hit yeah. him. And I'm just like, such a rep. Yeah. Climbs on top, sticks his arm through the driver window. Yeah. I remember this. This was out near the Salt Flats, I think. Mm-hmm. I liked doing this movie so much that even when I had days off, which I think were few and far between, we would go hang out on set. Yeah. Had to see what was going on. Well, and it's hard, I think, when you're away from everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it was also weird getting home again and looking through your mail. and It's like life starts again. Yeah. It's a sensation that you don't really understand unless you've been on a set before, how discombobulating it is. Love location. Just to be able to focus on just working. Yeah. And everyone's there for the same reason. Mm-hmm. Little family. Don't do it. <laughs> Isn't that funny? He just happened to stop. At yeah. The, yeah. Nothing happens by chance. Hello? I wonder what Donald Pleasance's last project was. Hmm. 
I don't know. It was so great. It was great. Didn't you feel so... Gr- I felt so lucky to have worked with them. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like we just got in on the, t- you know, tail end yeah. of his life. I know more about him now as an adult than I did. I didn't know who he was then except the guy from oh, the Halloween movies. He's got know. the resume three pages yeah. long. He's just yeah. had such a long, long career. Don't go in there. God, this scene is so great. Just that f- quick push in of him standing in the doorway. And everyone is terrified of him except for Dr. Loomis, who constantly goes after him. I think yeah. it makes a great dynamic. Mm-hmm. Was, this, was that a jar of pig's feet? <laughs> that was really <laughs> gross. I missed that <laughs> nice one. Nice touch. <laughs> uh. God, he works fast, doesn't he? I so easily could have been that waitress dead yeah. on the floor. Yeah. Thank goodness <laughs> they gave me Rachel instead. <laughs> He feels him. Okay, did you read on a Friday? Did you screen test on a Friday and find out about it on Monday? Oh, I don't even remember. Yeah. I know it was fast. that was excruciating. Mm -hmm. It was fast, but what a thrill. Yeah. You waited ten years. I knew this day would come. Don't go to Haddonfield. God, he's so large. But didn't didn't, uh, George have like a hockey sort of um, gear underneath that suit? To, to bulk him up? Yeah. I don't remember that. Michael. I thought I did because I remember Don came in in five and Don was actually a, a bigger guy. Right, right. You know, if you think about the franchises that were so popular at the time, The Nightmare and um, Friday, the Friday the 13th, 13th yeah. I think this relationship is what makes this series so unique Mm -hmm. is that you know kind of the tenderness he has with him yeah it's so much more interesting than just you know this random random slasher guy yeah I may be biased but I I still think that the Halloweens are are the best I do too and I haven't really seen the others (laughs) I'm not gonna lie and Hellraiser didn't go near it (laughs) You know, I never saw, I'm probably the only American that hasn't seen it. I never saw The Exorcist. <gasps> I'm so terrified wow. of it. I know. I did a show with Ellen Burst, uh, Bernstein for... You did not. Yeah. I love her. Ellen's, Ellen's pretty great. Oh, she's so good. Okay, so I wonder Aww. what these kids are up to. I, I, just, I would much prefer working with you guys than with these people my age. Costume. Where's your mask or are you wearing it? Yeah, I kind of remember that. Because every day is Halloween at Jamie's house, right, Jamie? Because your uncle's the boogeyman. Boogeyman, boogeyman. Jamie's uncle's the boogeyman. <laughs> How come your mommy didn't make you a costume, Jamie? How could you? Her mommy's dead. Jamie's mommy's a mommy. Stop it, okay? Stop it. Jamie's an orphan. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot about that part. It's like just oh, that little redhead. Look yeah. at her, just slow mo. Oh. <laughs> what made them decide to do this in slow motion? And all those creepy masks. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so sad. <laughs> Were you that in that outfit most of the movie? Yeah, yeah. Even underneath my clown costume, I had that thing on. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Drama queen. That's good <laughs> stuff. Now, come on. Jamie, are you okay? Climb into the Dodge Dart. <laughs> <laughs> we had it going on. <laughs> Woo-wee. See, there's, uh, there's uh, such an ordinariness to all of this, and it really, it's, it's so great. Yeah. I want to go trick-or-treating, like the other kids. But I thought you didn't want to go trick or treating. Hmm. I think it mirrors the first one, is you know, mm-hmm. in so many ways. I mean, obviously the first one stands alone, but yeah, it really oh, stuck to its its roots. I thought. Look at her bangs. Well, I don't want to come on too strong. A guy hates a girl that comes on too strong. Fragile egos and all of that. You won't come on too strong. Well, I don't want to seem desperate or anything. Face it, Rach, you are desperate. I didn't get Were very close desperate? to her. Yeah, I was I was desperate. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> she, did she only work this one day? 
That's what I was thinking. I just don't remember. She's pretty good. She was great. I just remember it being like Sasha, Kathleen, mm -hmm. you and I, mm -hmm. and Dwight. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. With Donald in there. Of course. Kathleen. Yeah, she looks the, She looks so great. She looks the exact same. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's nuts. So sweet. But her boobs are smaller now. Gosh, they just loved putting you girls in crop tops. Oh, how cute is Sasha Jensen? How he was so mm. great and dazed and confused. So I was great. on the floor. Yeah. I thought this guy was pretty cute. Not him. The other guy was pretty cute. His friend. He's not gonna do it. Chicken. Don't forget, man. Oh, Sasha just plays such a good bad boy. Oh, that mm -hmm. guy in the in the flannel shirt. Yeah, yeah. He looks like Emilio really Estevez. <laughs> be great if it was. Wouldn't that be something? Fuck off, Wade. Whoa. <laughs> she hasn't changed much either. <laughs> Gosh, I remember the first time I saw them wedding down the street. Totally. No idea. And the crane. I was like, yeah. this is movie making. Yeah. You know? Oh. So funny. Vincent Drug. Oh, I'd love to go back there. I know. <clears throat> Do it all over again. Rachel, what are you doing here? I thought I was supposed to pick you up. Jamie needs a Halloween costume. You do? Okay, we well go down to ILA. We've got the. I'm sorry, but <laughs> Rachel has desperation <laughs> running all over. <laughs> <laughs> sure, what about? Okay, he's kind of cute. Yeah. So, did you guys make out in rehearsal? Uh, vaguely. Uh -huh. I mean, we mostly laughed. <laughs> Why would Michael Myers' mask be in this shop? Uh, it's just scary guy. It's not like yeah. scary guy mask, you know? Yeah. It's only scary when he wears it. Interesting. But they're trying to sell it. I think it worked. Mm-hmm. <sighs> the costume I, that changed everything. <laughs> I just sold that costume to a fan. You did? Yeah. Because it was just sitting in a box, and some guy wanted it and going to put it up in a clear box in his house with a bunch of other memorabilia. Wow. It's like, there you go. What? My parents' babysitter canceled. Yeah, I sent my Halloween 4 t-shirt to a fan, my very first fan letter. Mm. Oh, awesome. But I kept my jacket, my jean jacket. You still have it? Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's in my basement. Wow. Don't get angry. I'm not angry. It's just... Why couldn't he have come over when I went to sleep? Oh, I guess we're going to retreating. Yeah, remember? <laughs> I had to babysit you. <laughs> Couldn't put me to bed. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll call you later. Dog. Such a dog. Oh. Gosh, I remember this oh, mirror. I, it's the first time that I, I think I was scared backing up into it. I'd never seen a breakaway mirror before. Yeah. That is scary. <laughs> wow. Did you get that on the first take? Oh, I can scream like no other. Yeah. Oh, watch the cards rage. <laughs> what happened? It was the nightmare man. What? He's coming to get me, Rachel. You're okay. Mm, that was scary. We saw a mask and it scared you. At least you're not cut. I'm surprised I'm not cut after smashing into that enormous mirror. It's really kind of a miracle. I remember being really self-conscious about my butt in those overalls. <laughs> <laughs> I had saggy booty. <laughs> okay, this guy coming up in the little pickup truck... Uh, Great character actor. I think mm -hmm. he actually passed away recently. Yeah, he did. Did you see that? Yeah. Boy, he did a, so many of these little parts. Yeah. It's fun to recognize faces from this movie because I, you know, mm -hmm. they turn up. I still get sad when I when I watch this scene. I don't know why it breaks my heart. Oh, it's awful. Oh, and again, look at his it's this face. It's, oh. 
It's so mean spirited. Mm. I hate that. And then this guy kind of appearing out of the. <laughs> I didn't realize Illinois could be so dusty. Yeah. <laughs> and so bone dry. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when they built the rooftop out in the desert? Yeah. The fakey rooftop? It was still high up. I don't I know would, what we yeah. gained by that whole experience. It wasn't quite as high as the regular house, but it was it was a good two stories, not one yeah. story. But I think it worked. Yeah. I think if it was low to the ground, it wouldn't have been as realistic. That's true. Feeling. That's true. The shot looking upward. God, it was freezing. I just remember being so cold. It was cold, and so we were, worked the those... All those days in a row of those night shoots. That mm-hmm. was a little tough. That was a little weird. Yep. Gosh, I think on in Halloween 5, I actually worked mostly nights, maybe like three or four days. All yeah, night you get kind of used to it. But that first go around, I just thought, this is mm. so different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not working when everyone else works. Yeah. Breaking for lunch at 4 a.m. Yeah. It's always got a face and a name. Mm. This guy's so great. I've been hunting the bastard for 30 years, give or take. There's no other job this man could have done except mm. be a character actor. Yeah, born to do it. You can't kill damnation, mister. But how interesting that they made him a priest, you know? Right. I know that, Mr. Sayer. Oh, you're a pilgrim, all right. I saw it on your face back there in the... I wonder door. where he's taking him. I saw it <laughs> You know? <laughs> Did they have a conversation about getting to Haddonfield? Go? <laughs> Is he going to the police? Is he going back to his office? Didn't you do another horror movie a few years ago? Two years ago? A year ago? I did a bunch of them. There was one I want to say I had... Actually, I auditioned for it. And you were already signed on to do it. I want to... Uh, maybe they tell me no. They tell me you were coming in, and it wasn't the day that I was coming in to read for right. it. What was it? Hold on. I want to say your husband. I don't know what your husband does, but I think your husband was involved somehow. Was he producing it? Yeah, he was producing it. Was it House of the Dead too? Yes, I think that's what. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, no, oh wait. I know that I had to like carry on a big machine gun and kill people. Yes, and, yes, yes, yes. It was House of the Dead too. I sort of walked in and went, I, "You guys, come on! I can't do this. Look, it looks. I'm five feet tall. I know." <laughs> And I wanted to do another role in it, but um, but I couldn't do it unless I got naked, and I didn't want to get naked. So Yeah, I don't blame you. So I didn't do it. But I just wanted to work with you again. That would be really fun. I know. <clears throat> well, it ain't over yet. You know? Mm, yeah. Rachel, can I go get my costume on? Yeah, hurry up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now that mom and dad are gone. Yeah. <laughs> she has a lot less patience, doesn't she? <laughs> wow. This reminded me a lot of the first one, kind of the babysitter shot. Yeah. Outside looking in. Brady there? He's not back from work yet? You kind of resemble Jamie Lee Curtis. Maybe it's the hair. Yeah, she had kind of that big, funky 70s hair. Mm Mm-hmm. Bye. Come on, Jamie, you're going to miss all the good candy. Oh, that... Gosh, that color. Costume. (laughs) Did they try different costumes on you? No. I wonder how they decided on the clown. Well, because uh, because clowns are just scary. <laughs> what? Because of the Halloween one. Oh. Oh yeah, because the little boy. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm along for Michael. the ride now. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> That's funny. Man, we put our time in at that house. Mm-hmm. Where's he going? Why didn't he come after us? He's going to look around his house, look at old pictures. Aww. Look how young. My goodness. Mm. There he is. Oh, yeah. That is some bad shag, shag carpeting. Mm. Why would I have that picture in my keepsake box. Hmm. Oh, I need to speak with Sheriff Brackett. The mystery of Halloween. Well, then you'll have to travel about 3,000 miles south of here. What? Brackett retired back in 81. Moved to St. Petersburg. 
Did you ever read for any of the Nightmares or Fridays? No. I think I was too young. Oh, yeah. My name is Dr. Loomis. Folks around here aren't likely to forget you. The big bad Boaster. Boaster. (laughs) Tight pants. (laughs) I really liked him, too. I liked everyone. I did, too. But you really believed that he was going to take care of it. You know, the way he's so handsome and... I still believe he would take care of it. Yeah. Now he wants her daughter. Are you talking about Jamie Lloyd? Now, do you steer away from horror? Or it doesn't really matter. It depends on the part. I've been trying to do another horror movie. I did one one more since uh, the Halloween. I did a, an, an urban legend, the first one. Oh, that's right. I remember hearing about that. But I, I audition. I audition for them a lot. I just auditioned for one last week, actually. Can that you believe I really how popular liked. it still is? Yep. And and I'm always surprised. I'm like, you guys, I know you should hire me. I know I have kind of like a cool following. I like, know it'd be really. I have smart. to explain it to my agent. I said I just did a radio show. They're like, why? I'm like, hello. Yeah, <laughs> there are fans out there. <laughs> I know. I want to like bring in video from the conventions and say, look, you would be, you'd make a, have a lot of people come see it. Keep yeah, put me in it. It is such a loyal fan base. Yeah. Long distance, sheriff. Operator says the lines are down. Of course they're down. Hmm. You see, I still think this translates into this day. You know, sometimes things look so outdated and it looks old timey, but it's still, it's still so creepy. It's just so simple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jamie, wait for me. How did I get lost? Did I get lost? I think I. Do I? Talk to some buddies and we get separated. I can't remember. Oh, my friends! I think come take me because I apparently have friends now. Well, Rachel has the patience of a flea. Look at her. You <laughs> had enough? We've done three houses. You ready? <laughs> it's like chill out. Uh oh. Here's the mean crew. Like he would ever say that. Ever. Hey, you wanna go with us? Go ahead. Come on. I don't know these kids. Yes. Go ahead. Send her off with a pack of boys. <laughs> <laughs> a pack of teenage boys. <laughs> yeah. She'd answer like she would answer the door. In a t shirt. In a t shirt. I know. Cops do it by the books. Oh yeah. Oh. Great reaction. I've been there. Oh. Hi. Rachel. There are a couple of, like little mean spirited digs in this, you mm-hmm. know? Rachel. I, I gotta explain. Rachel, I. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> Watch it, Sasha. <laughs> I wonder if that was planned. Just leave me alone and let's forget it. No, you don't understand. Don't touch me. I mean, you blow off for a date at the last minute. So you hop on to the next best thing? I thought you were different from other guys. Oh, I'm different. It's, it's just that I just, I just got pissed off, that's all. Oh, really? Well, I'll just let you get back to Little Miss Hot Panties. <laughs> I think Rachel's actually 30. She's just <laughs> <laughs> a little bit in the spinster category. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sexy, sexy. You're such a guy, Sasha. Mm. Brady. Is that the house we fall and climb up? Mm-hmm. What, didn't that look like it? Mm-hmm. I think oh. it is, yeah. Oh. Where did all the house? Where do the people go? Where are the houses? Isn't that something? By order of the sheriff's office. Oh. These guys are great, too. The rednecks? Mm-hmm. That head redneck was really him. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Shut up a goddamn minute. <laughs> Shut up! See, to such great faces, you know? Yeah. Nothing like a Illinois redneck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I saw this movie in a movie theater when his head gets ripped off. Yeah. I mean, I was beside myself. Yeah. Nothing could have warned me. Yeah. That was amazing. Plus the music. Plus, you know. And just rocking in that, you know, remember the two by fours under the truck? And yeah. They were rocking on it. I mean. Yeah. It had such a great effect. Having to pretend to throw myself in the bottom mm-hmm. of the cab. Mm-hmm. Let's get him. 
come on. And hitting when they hung the dummy up? And you had to slam it, and they hung it up on the clear wires. <gasps> You're so good. I forgot mm -hmm. about that. I was scared that it was going to come through the windshield. It was, that whole it was thing like was kind of tricky. Mm -hmm. I remember you having a hard time driving that truck because it was just a... Cranky. Yeah. Cranky, cranky. You got to have the, the rednecks in their pickups. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Loomis, find him. I was so mad to find out that you died in five. Did you want to die in Halloween five? No. Heck no. No, in fact, they, my agent called and said, we've got a script. And I knew there would be a script coming because, you know, we were all still alive. Mm -hmm. And when I got the Halloween five script, Rachel was supposed to get scissors shoved down her throat. Right. And I said, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Oh. Uh. Right, that didn't even look like a dog, but we know who it is. <laughs> Looked like a horse dog. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so they rewrote it, so I got stabbed in the heart. Mm. And it was so sweet, because I saw Mustafa at that Halloween convention, I guess, two years ago. Yeah. And someone said, why did you have Rachel Carruthers' character killed off? And... He said, we did? <laughs> I'm uh -huh. like, yeah, remember? <gasps> so I don't think anyone really knew. I think she just had to... What happened to your character? What happened after five? Well, I lived, and then they, they wrote... Um, they wrote something completely different? A few years ago. Well, I was like 18, 17, actually. And there was my agent called me and said, there's a br the, I said on a breakdown, they were looking for someone that looked like me. Stop to it. To do Halloween, but because I wasn't over 18, they didn't want to use me. And I called him up and said, I'll get emancipated. Yeah. I don't want anyone playing me. You don't yeah. want to play me. I don't want to play me. Yeah. So I got emancipated, and I got the script. And for anyone who doesn't know what emancipated is, it just means you can work legally as an adult. Um, and I got the script, and I just, you know, she had Michael Myers' baby and the way oh, I died. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. I was like, you know, yeah. I just, I don't know if I want, like you, like I don't want to go out like that. I know. And you so, take it, I, it's not like I took it personally, but I felt like I was attached to yeah, her. And, of course. You know, you've got your... It just, five was ridiculous, the way I'm in a towel the whole time. And right. I call our neighbor Mr. Cornish. I, all I thought about was a chicken. Like, <laughs> you know, Mr. Cornish hen. It's right. just ridiculous. Yeah, I think we owe it to our to our fans to sort of go out and... If we're going to go out, do it, do it big. Do yeah. it right. Yeah. I think I should come back. Oh, and I'm sure. One. Listen, if you, I've had, I mean, haven't people written to you and said, we've got ideas how to bring you back? Yeah, I always yeah. say conventions. I'm like, you guys, just send me a good script and I'll attach myself. Oh, yeah. And we'll make sure, we'll try to get it done. Yeah. Jamie! I saw Corey Feldman at a, a convention in Florida last year. You did? Yeah, and he was talking to me about how I guess he did in front of the 13th and he was a child and almost a killer. I had actually not seen the one that he was in. And he was saying how he wanted to pitch an idea of him and I coming back together as adults. Wow. As our characters, as now, you know, the killers. Wow. I was like, that would be fabulous. Yeah, I remember when we made this, All the Corys were so um, hot. Mm-hmm. What year was this? 80? Was it 88? 88. I remember, even though the camera crew was behind me, I was still scared. I know. It was it was a very eerie night. I remember this night. It was very creepy. I mean, it didn't really scare me to do most of the stuff. Still, the kind of kid who slept with a nightlight. Yeah. Is that you? And it was weird doing the death scene in five. It's just, it's an eerie feeling the first yeah. go around, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, that's a great shot. <laughs> Let's hold it <laughs> <on. laughs> Oh, well. Okay, the other thing, <laughs> come to think of it, is the cast in this movie look like real people. You know, I mean, nowadays yeah. everyone is so, you know, they all look like models. Mm-hmm. Not rich. Times are changing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's great stuff. Look how, oh. And you know what's funny is that I didn't see him standing there for a second. Yeah. Get up there. I think... 
Dwight really had a slight hand about this stuff, you know? He yeah. just didn't didn't push it too far. I wonder if he had been a fan of the of horror movies before. I wonder. We'll have to watch the commentary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> when he talks about us. <sighs> you know, he, he said to me on the set, he said, I promise you, if I ever do another movie where there's where there's a role for you, I'll put you in it. Aww. And I thought, you know, now nowadays I wouldn't have believed it, but I believed him then. And he called me about four years after this, and he hired me to be in a movie called Marked for Death that he did. That's awesome. He called me up and said, I want you to play Steven Skull's niece. I'm flying you out here, and uh, we're going to do it. And oh, did that's it. great. Only person in this town that's ever kept his word to me. Yeah. But that's the way it should be with directors, you know? I mean, that's yeah. the whole point of having great experiences working together. Mm-hmm. Is that, you know, it's that trust. On yep. your own at night again, okay? Not ever. Because it's my fault <laughs> that you lost me. <laughs> Rachel, James, thank God. What's going on? In the cup. Come on, quick. Don't you think they're I safe? Know. You know, just for that brief moment. Yeah. See, we're fine. Is that him? Is that him? Yes. I have the chills again. How dumb could you... How dumb you have to be to... Come on. He's going to shoot you. He's got a gun. Yeah. Oh, all the false Michaels. Where is Doc? Dear God. Hey, don't shoot! Was Donald Pleasance in Halloween 3? I don't know. I know Halloween 3 didn't have... I don't think I saw most of it. I saw it. I think it was... I saw it, and I, this is way before I did this one, and I remember thinking, okay, that was off the plot line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was yeah. that about? <laughs> yeah, Season of the, the Witch or something. Yeah, exactly. I get that one confused with Children of the Corn, but you're right, it was Season <laughs> of the Witch. <laughs> because there's the same syllables. Mm-hmm. Works fast, doesn't he? Yeah. Christ. Wouldn't have given up. Doesn't even have a car, and he manages to get around town that quickly. Uh, what, they were fighting? I'm getting caught up watching it. I am too. <laughs> it's like these, these details you just kind of take for granted, but... They went to... Okay, ouch, yikes. Oh, how can a man do this, Loomis? Tell me. It isn't a man. I thought it had... You know, it's that's pretty good production value, you know, for yeah. a little, little movie. Tell me! What the hell are we dealing with? Evil. And I assume you went out with the public to see it. Like, did you stand in line and buy your ticket and do all that? I did. I took all of my friends... All of my friends from junior high school. Wait. I think I was even younger than that. I think I was in, like, sixth grade, maybe? Did you see it in New York? Yeah, I saw it in Queens. And then for Halloween, I dressed up as Jamie and went trick-or-treating. You are such a show-off. <laughs> and people freaked out because it was such a big movie. Completely. So seeing me at the door covered in blood, and I would run up and down the street screaming for help. That is hysterical. <laughs> uh, just milk it for all it's worth. I, even, I went to school dressed as, as that, too. That Chased is so some poor kid down funny. the hall with my mom let me take real scissors to school, too. That is so funny. How many people killed back then? How many kids? Al here lost his boy ten years back. Well, not this What a face. Mm. I really wanted to come back as the killer. That would have been so scary. Son of a bitch, you just created a link. Yeah, that seems like a given. I mean, that that would be the natural. Yeah. Man may be the only defense you've got. I wonder why they didn't follow through with that. Okay, at the end of this one, is that when you're in the clown costume with a knife? Yeah. I stab mom with the scissors. Yeah, yeah, and a C five should have picked up with that. Yeah. Oh, these guys were so funny. Hmm. One thirty two, one thirty two. This is one thirty four. Over. <laughs> one out of twelve. One out of twelve. One thirty two. Over. Then, uh, I just heard about the station. Uh, you get over to my house. We'll call the state boys from there. I'll be there in five. I remember minutes. going 
to Westwood, and there was a line around the block. And I said, what are you guys waiting for? And they said, Halloween 4. Oh, wow. They were in line. I just about <gasps> lost it. Wow. And then I went to the ladies' room, and I was like, gosh, that was so scary. You know, like I wanted someone to turn around and go, oh, my God, it's her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so exciting. That was such a thrill. I remember I saw it in at that time in Westwood. Um, they had police at the back of the theater. Wow. I think it was... There was kind of some rioting undertones at the time. I don't think anyone anticipated it being as big as it was. I mean, I had no idea. I think this movie did better than most of the movies that I've been in since. I get recognized more from this than anything else, that's for sure. I know I took my daughter to see American Idol last year, Mm -hmm. like the semifinals. And we were standing in line and Carrie Underwood came out. Mm. And I said, excuse me, could my daughter ha- have an autograph? And she said, don't I know you? And I said, I don't think so. And she said, are you an actress? And she's like, oh, my God, you were in Halloween 4. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter thought I was the bee's knees. <laughs> she thought that was the coolest thing ever. Are you living out here? Where are you living? Yeah, out here. Really? Oh. Gosh. Yeah. Get him. Did we have to wear earplugs in this movie? I can't remember. Um, have you had to do that where you have to wear plugs yes. and do dialogue? I'm sorry. There's just nothing yes. worse. <laughs> I did, but in Halloween 5 I did when they were shooting him at the end of the movie. Oh, yeah. Shit, Earl. It's Ted Hollister. Uh-oh. <gasps> you dumb son of a bitch. You said you saw Myers. That's good stuff. Oh, I remember this. Mm. Do you, you remember at the time it was just so mm-hmm. risque? Yeah. I was dying that my parents were going to go see this. Yeah. Her body is better now than it was then, if you can believe it. I believe it. I think we're doing just fine right here. This is so tame in today's standards. But... Mm hmm. Oh, I think I'm in heaven. <laughs> Okay, Brady's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What a dog. And how could she sleep with him knowing that he's with you? She doesn't care. I don't know. Is she the sheriff's daughter? Mm-hmm. Okay. She's unleashing the monsters. <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't show anything. I know. Nowadays they would have, you know. Yep. Wouldn't have been the same. That would have been a two-shot one. Mm. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's my dad. Your dad. Your dad. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Gosh, this whole sequence was amazing in the house when he comes. You know the whole rooftop right. thing. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Where's that deputy? Be here in a minute. Acting like nothing's going on. Rachel, take your sister upstairs, first door on the right. Uh, Dad, what's going on? Kelly, I want you to close and lock all the downstairs windows. Why? Just do it. Close the radio. Right through the kitchen, you'll see the basement. All the places to take us. Brady, do you know how to use the gun? Oh, yes, sir. Think you can handle that? Um, yeah, you want to tell me what's happening? Yeah, when I have time. You got your riot gun? I'm talking to my squad. <laughs> take these. Have you ever had a fire gun? Have I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lots. Yeah? In work or outside of work? Uh, both. Hmm. Both. Well, yeah. I catch you rope my daughter. I just shot a pistol over Thanksgiving at this outdoor range back on the East Coast. Mm. And everyone had earplugs on. No one thought I would hit anything. I hit it three times in a row. <gasps> wow. And Sharp I swear shine. it's because of training I've gotten doing movies. Right. How many horror movies have you done now? I think I've done probably done a lot in the last like year probably six wow yeah but some are more 
you know, not necessarily slashers, some zombies, right. some kind of psychological right. thrillers. I don't seek them out. I just do them because it's my husband's company and they ask me to. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah. sure, I'd yeah. love to. Yeah. It's great They're fun. They're fun. They are fun. They're the most fun of all the different other types of genres. I still love horror movies. And the whole special effects field is so fascinating. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's such artistry. I really respect those guys. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be outside upstairs in the attic. See, I like these characters. Everyone's trying to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like you, you care about them. They're not just lame brains. Yeah. Even though he just almost had sex with Well, exactly. <laughs> and she's still in her T-shirt. Yeah. forget how she dies. I know how he dies. Oh, I remember oh, now. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. Bad. Bad, bad. Super cool, though. Okay, I couldn't remember this. In Halloween 5, at the very end when I'm dead in the attic, mm -hmm. is that me or was that a dummy? I flew in to do that, didn't I? It was you. Because I remember Greg did a body, I did a body cast for, um, I mean a body, whatever, body mold mm -hmm. for Greg, and I don't think they ever used it. I think they just decided to fly me in. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just... Yeah, because we shot that after... After the whole thing. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh, gosh, that was so that was so creepy. That was so creepy. All right, good, good. Logan, I want you right here by the front door. Okay? I mean, can you imagine <laughs> actors nowadays? You'd be like, yeah, I don't think so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my double? Yeah. Big time. I had to flip out of it, and five, I had to flip out of the coffin, and there was candles everywhere. Oh, man. And just was like, oh, God. I didn't want to get in it. Yeah. That's creepy. Why don't you come make us some coffee? All right. Oh, when Rachel dumps it on Kathleen. Mm-hmm. I forget her name. What was Kathleen's name in this? I was just trying to remember. Um, Rachel, Brady, and... I can't remember. Hmm. That was so hard not to like her because she was such a sweetheart. I know. Kelly Meeker. Kelly Meeker. Kelly Meeker. Oh God, that's a new Kelly. one. <laughs> I knew. Ooh. I knew that it had Sheriff to be something with Meeker. a Y. But I remember She's... when we shot that scene that day where I dumped the the coffee on her. All the fellas on the set were just quiet as mice. They were so <laughs> so enthralled. To the house next week. I wish I hadn't waited. That is some great lighting. You know, it's very cool. We do a lot of um, films with uh, Ray Stella, Raymond Stella, who's uh -huh. our um, DP, and he d he worked on the original. Right. Which I think is so cool. What a small world. Mm. You know this guy's about to be killed. That's a given. Mm. He hasn't gotten to say enough. Right. <laughs> Take him on out. <laughs> He just has that dumb cop look, doesn't he? <laughs> she just didn't isn't putting any clothes on. Isn't she cold? The fireplace is on. I can't remember when we lost power, but anyway. Right. Suspension of disbelief. Okay. I gotta say, I liked this scene just because I felt like she ought to be able to be a little bit mean, you know? Yeah. I mean, stand up, take up a little bit of space <laughs> for right. those three seconds of right. her life. We told, we looked like we could have been sisters, I think. Mm-hmm. Even though it wasn't really your sister. The whole landing thing was such a great part of the set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything all right? Jamie's sleeping. When can we go home? You're not lit very well. Half in the dark yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, guys? <laughs> Do you miss your mark? What's going on? <laughs> we had to move on? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Oh. Is that him in the back there? <gasps> 
That was cool. I never saw that before. I don't think I did either. That was weird. That was just a smidgen of his cheek. Wow. See, all this. Mm. It's great little touches. It's amazing that I can watch. I've probably seen this movie a hundred times, but I haven't seen it in a long time and to still find those things. I know. This is no joke. We need those troopers and we need them now. My daughter and nephew thought they were so tough watching this, and they were scared out of their minds. <laughs> I have to meet them one day. It's crazy. Your girls are older now than I was when we did this. How old were you? I was 10. Did you have a birthday there? Mm-hmm. I remember that. Wow, good memory. It was someone hired a big lobster to come deliver a cake. A big oh, like, lobster <laughs> thing. <laughs> that was Salt Lake's finest. Gosh. You know? That's, That's so funny. And what time of year was it? Was it like March, February, March? Um, I think my birthday is June, so I think it was like oh, April, late, late, yeah, so late, late April, late May, spring. And beginning of June. It was still freezing though. So I still remember being really cold at night. After I shot this, I. Studied Shakespeare all summer. <laughs> it was such a weird <laughs> dichotomy. <laughs> Why does she have attitude with you? I didn't know you and Brady had anything, okay? You knew. You just didn't care. He's not married. Besides, I've got a right to do what's best for me. Don't you mean what you do best? Great comeback. Wise up to what men want, Rachel. Or Brady won't be the last man you lose to another woman. Ooh. <laughs> that was cool. Tell her, Kelly. Have some coffee. Oh, Ellie, anyway, he got Ted Hollister the Well, he's dead. Uh. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, Christ. Is there old Ford out there? This is Ben Meeker. Rachel's just everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Fast, too, right? She's kind of ran up there. Stay by this radio. I got a fan letter last week from the Netherlands. Mm. <laughs> wow. I think these movies are all over the world. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this was so much fun. I'm just grinning from ear to ear. Yeah. You know, it's so fun. A town full of beer bellies running around in the dark with shotguns. Mm. Who's going to be next? His wife, some his kid. He's going to be next. I can't stand by for that. I mean, didn't you feel like it was like five years of training crammed into those 36 days? Yeah. I mean, it takes act. I don't know. I just felt so lucky in that way. Yeah. I just didn't know any better being so young and. Okay, don't you totally remember things. that tacky quilt? <laughs> I don't remember. It was remember like made that. of men's suits, old men's <laughs> suits. I don't remember it. Why would they just leave you? Where's Where's uh, Brady? Is he supposed to be up there? I think they gave him an assignment like go watch the roof, maybe, with the gun. Right. No, they gave him a gun and said go upstairs. Thank goodness she found that flannel shirt <laughs> hanging in the kitchen. <laughs> I thought you might like some coffee. She is so cute. Yeah. I used to go swimming every day with her. Or not every day, as much as I could at the hotel. And play games and jump off her shoulders because she's so tall. At least we could have some MTV while we wait for the cavalry. <laughs> MTV. Gosh, that must have been when MTV just started. Right. And when there, when it was just music videos. Oh, here we go. Ouch. Oh. And I love that 
you never see it. Right. Right. You know it happens. There's such little blood. ETA 35 minutes. Over. Uh, okay. Great. We'll be waiting. <laughs> uh, 10-4. Over. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, over and out. <laughs> I think I saw Adam 12 one too many times. <laughs> Did that just get a little, a little smile on your face? Hmm. So when you got the script, your mom read it and told you about it? Um, I, I think I probably, knowing me, I think I probably read it first. Yeah. Deputy? And then thought it would be fun. And then after I, I got it, I, just, I rented Halloween 1 and 2 because I hadn't seen it. I remember, I, remember, uh, I remember that one. We got it on the first take. Mm. <laughs> you lost her again. <laughs> <laughs> Some sister you are. I'm going to rethink the babysitting thing. <laughs> What's going on? I've got to find Jamie. No, no. we got to do this. Get out of here. Right now. Not without Jamie. Run. No, leave your sister to die. She stands a chance. She's not dead. No. What if the audience thought I was dead? Another key? I don't know. Oh, sure. The other way. <laughs> metal! God damn it, it's metal! <laughs> As opposed to <laughs> Bear says it's gonna break off. Jamie. Oh boy. From here on in it gets pretty action packed, doesn't it? Mm, I think so. Did they get Sheriff Maker? No, he's in five. Get up there, Rachel! I think he's in five. <laughs> or maybe he left. Maybe that's why he left the gun with Brady's, because he had to go off and do something. I think he had to go round up the rednecks. Oh, yeah. Go! <gasps> wow. See? I mean, there's no yeah. stunt, stunt yeah. man in there. Seth just threw himself into that wall. So he knows the gun's working now. Because he just shot it. Ouch. Oh. Oh. I know. See, you still like him. <laughs> oh. I wonder how they did that. How did they lift him up? Maybe he just stepped up onto an apple box. Right. Leave us alone! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple humdingers in it's there. It's like, I'm up here. <laughs> Jamie! I remember not wanting to crawl in your back because I thought I was going to hurt you. Yeah. And I'm sure I probably did. <laughs> Um, is this the... Were you in the laundry chute in this one? And that's the next one. That's five. Okay. Yeah. I mean, everybody can understand this, you know? I'm, I'm creeped out and I was in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> the old knife in the attic trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super cool breakaway glass. I just remember being so afraid you were going to get hurt stepping through that with the glass shards everywhere. Do you see it? Even though they're completely. I mean, it was so God. ambitious. How high was that roof that we were on? The makeshift roof? Um, for some reason, I always thought it was 16 feet, yeah. but I don't know where I got that figure. I always thought 18, so it's probably somewhere around there. And did we climb up on scaffolding or was it a ladder? I think it was a ladder. And you know what? There was there there wasn't anything around the bottom of it in case we fell, right? Uh-uh. Or was there scaffolding? Ah! 
There's where you cut your stomach. It was remember it was just like moist and that like morning dew, slippery, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. cold, and I drive oh. by that spot every time I go to Park City. Really? But I thought, yeah, they were going to flood it at one point and turn into a reservoir. Right. I can't believe you just you did this. You're right. Look how dewy it is. Yeah. And we just got up there with no questions asked. I know. I think your mom is brave. I think it would be hard as a parent. Yeah. I'd be going, where's the safety harness? Right. I still think we don't even, we didn't even know that that existed then. Uh Uh-uh. That that was even an option. God damn it. (laughs) I was so scared here, too. (laughs) It's hard to hear yourself say certain things. (laughs) Was that your double? Or was that you? No, that was me. The double was comes at, when I'm she, hanging off right. the edge. I'm going to lower you down, Jamie. Right, like my double's after this, the drop. I remember her. Do you? Yeah, I still talk to her. You do? Yeah. Laura Dash. So that's her. But I was hanging up there, too, at some point. I remember watching this stunt woman being amazed. Yeah, yeah. she just, no heart, no nothing. She went after it, didn't she? Yeah. She fell into boxes, right? Yeah. It was so high up. God, that's awesome. I remember looking at your stunt double's hair going, that doesn't look like (laughs) Jamie's. But you know what? It's movie magic. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, oh, come alive, Rachel. Please come alive. Don't be dead. You can't be dead. So they could have killed her then. <laughs> Bye, Rachel. <laughs> Remember as an actress then just really having to look at you and think that you were dead and yeah. getting just hysterical. How scary. Yeah. For and her the to last be one gone. Left. Yeah. yeah, completely. Oh, God, that's so scary. And it all comes down to you know you and him, right? There's no yeah. Dr. Loomis, no Sheriff yeah. Meeker. All your safety nets are gone. Wait, where is everybody? A little too late there, Rage. Now you're waking up. Such a cool shot. Mm. What are you doing out here alone? Everybody's dead. I just want to go home. Surprised I didn't scream there. I've just been there. That's the first place they look for you. Oh. Remember how painstaking it was matching the, the scrapes? Yes. Those, Actually, those I liked Polaroid it. Those Polaroids come out every day. I liked the way that the it was sort of like a, a sponge that had like little holes in yeah, it. Yeah, stipple. I li- I liked the way it felt when the stipple sponge. Moni, I think it was his name. Makeup artist Moni. Was it Moni or Moni? Moni. Um, some one or the other. And Susan, the blonde lady, right. she was so sweet. So we have to look in in the skull. Remember when Michael had a blonde hair? Uh huh. Was a big mistake. And they, 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 I think we had to go back and shoot something. But there's one moment where he's blonde on his mask. In this? Yeah. <gasps> cool. I don't know how they messed up. Cool. Inside secrets of mm-hmm. Halloween 4. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to work is because this right, we shot this kind of earlier on. And sort of like, wait a minute. There's blonde, see? Oh, that is too funny. How did they not catch that? That is a huge flub. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's Billy Idol. Yeah. <laughs> so this might have been day one, actually. <laughs> Boy, that's quite a first day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're a good crier. Thank you. I still am. <laughs> Can still cry like no one's business.
wonder if you see him again with the hair. Have they fixed it? Boy, I sure hope so. <laughs> I remember listening to Linda Ronstadt. That's what would put me in a sad mood. Mm. Tra uh, no, not Tracks of My Dears. I can't remember. I did this one too. The falling down the stairs? That was her. That was her, yeah, yeah. But I did like the star. Because that skanky hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> they have not paid the money for real hair on the way. <laughs> I know, it's so true. <laughs> I remember Dwight gave me a, a big talking to before that scene. What did he say? He just said, bring it, you know? Yeah. Were you afraid to use the extinguisher? No, although I didn't know. I think I made him take it out, take me outside, and I just wanted to see what it was going to look like. Right. So I knew what to expect. All right, this is th my favorite line of the whole movie. What's going on here? We heard the alarm. He's inside. Jesus, where? In the school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we figured that one out. <laughs> That's so funny. I know. I remember not liking the scene because I thought that I was fake crying. Let the troopers have it. That's what they get paid for. Yeah, there was a lot going on here. Yeah, a lot to have to accomplish. It's just great, though. It, it's it, it it the movie drives home. You know, it's like you're you're ready. It keeps moving forward. It's great. Yeah. You know, it never gets kind of bogged down. Now, is he under the car? He's under the car, right? He's holding on underneath. And he climbs up the back of the bed. Or is he on the back bumper? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, listen up. I've got Rachel Carruthers and her sister in the truck. I'm taking them out of town, Route 410. State police are on the way. You got that? Got it, Earl. Okay, out. Okay, how that, scary are our, our little profiles are so yeah. similar. That's yeah. so funny. <laughs> Ah, safe at last. Mm -hmm. There's the cavalry. I always like that shot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just shoot our guns. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's a highway patrol. Go get him. About four miles down the highway. You'll see the turnoff signs. Now we've got. I think you're right. I think he's attached to the undercarriage. Mm. Oh, he's sweet. Uh, he is so sweet. I'm like, don't touch me, creepy man. <laughs> 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 I'm tired. <laughs> He's going to be right there. They set it up to think that. Yep. Yep, you're exactly right. Oh, I see. He's brunette now. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Never heard that before. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Wow. Don't you love those stunt guys? I'm sorry, they have the hardest job out there. Yeah. Hmm. Did you hear something? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Now, did you push him out of the car, or did you push a dummy out of the car? Ah. Uh, I mean, a stunt guy or... No, it looks like a person, huh? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> now I was just thinking, this is so random, but I happened to wear a, a black bra to the set that day, and it showed. <laughs> now there were
were just boards underneath? Yeah. Like giant two by fours and the some of the grips or whatever were kind of bouncing. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's your stunt chick, right? Or was that you? That's the stunt lady, I think. <laughs> You know, it's so hard to do these movies, to, for the audience to know that we were just stationary in a car. I know. With boards underneath it, and to go through all of that. Mm-hmm. There we go. There's the dummy on the wires. Die. Son of a bitch! Love that line. <laughs> I love this look. <sighs> Rare. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. It was this one where we had to wear earplugs. Oh, that's right. You're absolutely right. When the whole cavalry pulls yeah. up. Yeah. And they just opened it up. <laughs> what, the, what, what was your last shot of the, of the thing? It was the rooftop, right? Didn't we finish that night? At least I did. Um, I finished that night in the... God, I don't even remember. Jamie, I want you to stay right here in the truck. That's always something when they say that's a wrap finish, you know, a work <laughs> yeah, finish, yeah. you know. I remember seeing this in the theaters and everybody going, get away from him, don't touch yes, him. Yes, exactly, exactly. No. <laughs> yep. God, they're like, <gasps> Jamie! Away. Always trying to do the right thing. Oh. So I guess I'm possessed right now. Get down! I just got squibbed for the first time. Have you done that yet? The no. electric blood bags? I'm scared of that. It was really scary. Can't you feel a little. Yeah, the charge? Thing? Yeah. Yeah. But there's plates between, you know, Zuma J. Do you know Zuma J from Malibu? He was no. the He was the guy and he did such a good job. I felt like I was in good hands. Good. Did you die? Oh yeah. <laughs> I did. But she was a smart character. <laughs> that was good. the trade off. I don't mind dying as long as I'm not the bimbo. <laughs> right. I think we're coming to an end here. <laughs> yeah, Mom and Dad, where were you guys? Where were they the whole time? That was a heck of a party you went to. Wow. Look at the scary mask by the door. Yeah. It's over. Yes. Michael Myers is in hell. Barry. Did he fall into the mine? Yes. Okay. These kids aren't likely to forget. They've survived this ordeal. They'll survive its memory. I'm going to take Jamie upstairs. Stay with Rachel. Come on. Wouldn't you think they'd like fish him out of the mine and made him or something You'd so he think. wouldn't come back? At least drag him behind the truck on the <laughs> way back in. <laughs> so at the beginning of five, you've been institutionalized, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'm mute. But you communicate telepathically? The shock. <laughs> yes. Right. I could feel him because we are one and the same. And then all of a sudden that goes away. They wouldn't let me see this. It was really interesting. Well, who wouldn't we let you see it? it? I wasn't allowed in the room or something. I remember like really wanting to see her being killed. Oh, that's interesting. So good. Yeah. This whole sequence is so cool. Gosh, sh I should have been the killer. Did Did <sighs> Dwight get you to do the breathing like that? Yeah, I think I did it in ADR. 
Yeah, he's so good. Like you've been running. I mean, he reminds you of what happened the moment yeah. before. He's so good. Yay! What a show. That's it. Gosh. Carmen Filpi, that was the kooky priest. Right. So fun. George Wilbur. Have you seen, you saw him at the 25th anniversary, right? I don't know if I saw George. I came kind of in late and I briefly said hello to Sasha and Kathleen and I saw Mustafa, but right. I think George was there. I was like watching old movies like this and looking at all the names, mm-hmm. trying to see if anyone's famous now that had like a bit part. Totally. You know? I thought I was the only one that did that. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing? It's like, mm-hmm. yeah. Laura, I, yeah, I still talk to my stunt woman. She's great. I bet she loves. She that. works all the time. She does all the time. I think stunt people are amazing. Yeah, I could never have that job. Wow, the film has held up. It's scarier than it was <laughs> back then. <laughs> it's so great to watch it again after all of these years. With you. I've never seen the movie with you. What a treat. Forget <laughs> it. I know. That's crazy. I know. It's really, It's they don't make movies like this anymore. They are few and far between. Well, and, you know, for the day, though, I felt like it was the, the latest and greatest. And, you know, horror has come quite a way since then, but I don't think it's lost any of its appeal yeah nope and I'm, I think I'm the, still shocked that the when characters I... you still like the characters I mean I still yeah. do I don't look at them and go oh kill them please I mean yeah. you, know, you just they're good they're good people good yeah folks. oh it seems like there's in nowadays in our movies there's like the weak one you know that goes first or yeah or or makes a transition and becomes the the strong one that kills it to, you know helps save you at the end there's really no weak people in this except for me but I was 10 so I think also me. people like um, women that aren't victims. I just think you can't help but to cheer for them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're not standing up in a white shirt in the rain doing a scene, mm-hmm. you know. Or making coffee in a t-shirt. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, we fought like dogs, us two. You know, I mean, we really are our best. Yeah. <laughs> This is cool. This is fun doing this. It's very fun. This isn't work. This is play. Yeah. Child's play. I hope everybody watching liked watching it as much as as we liked watching it again. I hope everyone has as good of a babysitter <laughs> <laughs> as Jamie did. And on that note. <laughs> willing to risk her life. <laughs> Thanks. You're a good sis. <laughs> hey, your family. <laughs>